This is how to make a basic YouTube video in DaVinci Resolve real fast. With the bonus of how to change the resolution for TikTok, YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. Pause and rewatch when needed. By the end of this video, you'll know how to add a clip, split it, do a simple cut, add text and how to export it. Let's begin! Open up DaVinci, start a new project. Take the video you want to edit and simply drag it to the master. Change. Consider the master as a folder where you have pictures, videos, text, whatever you might need for the video stored in. Now take your test video and drag it down below here. Tap space to start and stop your video. I'm gonna show you my video real quick just so you know what we're working with. This is a recording for a how-to basic DaVinci tutorial on YouTube. There we go. Don't be bothered by double sound. That's something on my end with my editing style. For this video, we'll only focus on three points. Cutting, editing, exporting. First thing we're going to do is eliminate the silent parts. Like we have at the beginning, in the middle, and slowly at the end as well. Simply do so in the edit tab by clicking on the clip. See the arrow and the line. Click and hold and drag to the part where you see me start speaking, which is the white lines down below. So now instead of the silent part in the beginning, we have... This is a recording me talking. Next up is how to split. We use the splitting tool to split out this clip so we can eliminate the silent part in the middle of the clip itself. For me, this is a recording. Is right about here. We don't have time to use our mouse so we're gonna use a hotkey. For English keyboards it is right control and reverse backslash. For my Scandinavian friends it is left control and B instead. Now you see the clip is now split into two. We need to do that for the opposite side as well. Drag it, control and reverse backslash or control B. To remove this middle part we don't need, we do not use the delete button, we use control X. Trust me, if you use the delete instead of control X as I will do now, you might accidentally end up deleting parts of your edit you did not wish to be deleted. When you get more into editing and have more different layers, you will understand why. For now, trust me, control X. Now we need to do the same thing at the end as we did at the start. Click a link, find the arrow on the line, drag the video a bit back. Now that we've cut out the part I don't want as well as adjusted the length of the video, we can now go to the actual edit part and add some text. Right down here, next to the cut, go into edit mode and the entire page will now change. This might seem confusing, but worry not, I will guide you through it. It's more simple than you think. I'm just gonna delete some of all the audio clips we don't need for my parts, just one second. Okay, there we're done. I need to zoom in a little bit to make it easier for me to... to you know see what's going on this is where all the magic really happens and i want you to remember this lower part here as a cake or a painting everything we add on top will be stacked just like in a cake or a painting meaning when we add the text it will be on top of the video if we added a picture it will be on top of that even so sometimes you might have to move things around but let's focus on the the, the text for now to find a simple text to add you need to find your toolbox and click the arrow then click on titles click the arrow or click titles that works too and you're gonna take the one called basic title or text. Not the text plus, that's too advanced for now. Just the basic title and symbol drag and drop. All the other options you see down here in diffusion titles are all templates of texts. You can play with them if you want, but please take a look at the symbol text one for now. Now click at the text. You see here we have basic title in the middle and over here on the right, we can change it. Test video text. You can change the font. Let's go for uh, I want a small board around the text just to make it more noticeable. So you go down to stroke. The color is black. You can, of course, change that. Click the little dot next to size and you can see on screen it changes the thickness of the border on the text. I want to change this to capital real quick. You can also change the position as well as the size of the text itself by zoom and by changing the vertical and the horizontal position. You can even rotate if you feel like it. I accidentally made this too big and too far off. I wanted to go back to its original place and start all over. Simply click these circular areas at the end and they will return to original. We can also change the tracking, which is the space between the letters. And if you have two layers, we can change the spacing between these as well and now the final part which is exporting so click the little rocket at the bottom so let's change the file name to test we're gonna choose a location i'm just gonna choose my desktop for now and save and something very important is changing the format to mp4 instead of quicktime or else you might lose some of the sound or the text or something in different softwares resolution is good now we're gonna go down to quality and restrict it by doing this you're making sure your video is not gigabytes but megabytes in size when exported and last but not least you need to click the subtitle settings enable subtitle export and change them to 
format burn into video if you do not do this the text added on screen will simply not be there and i see i forgot one important thing so we need to go back to the edit the text is too big so we need to drag it into the size of the other one and as you see it's snapping so it will automatically fit. If that don't happen, simply click the magnet up here and it will work just the same. When you're done with all the rendering settings, you click add to render queue. It will now pop up over here at the render queue and then you click render all. And now our video went from looking like this. This is a recording for a how to basic Da Vinci tutorial on YouTube. To looking like this. This is a recording for a how to basic Da Vinci tutorial on YouTube. And there you go. I did promise you how to change the resolutions for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. To do this, go back to editing. Click File, Project Settings, and these two numbers here, the resolution simply reversed them. And now your video is in resolution for TikToks. And that's it. If you have any questions or you get someone to do this yourself, write them in the comments. I'll do my very best to explain and help you in any way I can. Remember to subscribe for more DaVinci editing and creator videos in general. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time.